They call this an atomic trampoline, and for a brief period in the late noughties, you could actually buy one of these things. The thing that's remarkable about the atomic trampoline, of course, is how long the ball bearing bounces for. Compare that to how long a ball bearing bounces on just a regular slab of steel. The reason the one on the left bounces for so much longer is because there's a thin layer of amorphous metal on top. Amorphous just means that the atoms in the metal don't form a regular lattice arrangement. They don't form a crystal structure. But in chemistry, glass just means amorphous. So this metal is actually glass. When you deform something elastically, the energy you put into the deformation is stored. And in principle, that stored energy can be returned to the thing that deformed it. In other words, you can bounce a ball off a stretched rubber sheet, for example. But if you deform a surface plastically, then the energy that went into making that deformation is now lost. The surface isn't going to push back on the thing that made the deformation. And actually, if you look up close at this normal metal, there are loads of little pits from where the ball bearing has struck it and left a dent. Normal metals can be deformed because of their imperfections. Crystalline substances have imperfections like vacancies and dislocations. Metals are full of these dislocations, but in an amorphous metal, the atoms are arranged randomly. There's no way for defects to travel around over any long distances. 